If the concern on a 95 or 96 Riviera is power loss and a noise during low speed light throttle acceleration, consider checking for electromagnetic interference or EMI. EMI can enter the wheel speed sensor circuit and induce a voltage that simulates an excessive wheel speed signal, especially when the engine is at a higher RPM. A higher induced voltage on one of the front wheel speed sensor circuits falsely tells the electronic brake and traction control module, or EBTCM, that one front wheel is spinning excessively. The EBTCM activates traction control, causing the noise. The power loss begins when the PCM retards ignition timing or inhibits ignition to certain cylinders, shuts down the supercharger, if equipped, or reduces fuel delivery. The electromagnetic interference may be coming from the generator, the ignition system, or from the magnesteer coil around the steering rack input shaft. Check for aftermarket installations. Connect a Tech 1 and drive the vehicle. Remember, traction control is inhibited whenever the Tech 1 is connected, so lack of performance due to EMI can't be duplicated. The PCM won't limit engine performance. Set the Tech 1 to the snapshot mode. Drive the car and capture wheel speed data. Then step back through each frame. Look for a wheel speed spike. There's one. That spike you just saw is causing the concern. Make sure the harness is properly routed in its corrugated sheath. A no start concern along with other erratic electrical problems may occur if the main relay connection from the battery isn't torqued properly. This can cause a no start and prevent operation of the air conditioning system, the flash to pass feature, the windshield wipers, and inhibit the anti-lock brakes and traction control. Tighten the main relay connection from the battery. If a 95 Riviera has both the ABS and the TCS indicators illuminated and DTC 75 and 77 set, check ground 100 with a torque wrench set to 27 newton meters or 20 pound feet. Always do a voltage drop test when checking grounds. On the VIN 1 supercharged 3800, G100 is at the coil pack. On the VIN K3800 Series 2 engine, G100 is near the oil pressure switch. If the ABS and TCS indicators on a 95 Riviera are illuminated and powertrain DTCs P0134 and P0101 are set, check ground G100. The vehicle could have other drivability concerns as well. G100 must have a star washer, the bolt torqued to 27 newton meters or 20 pound feet, and a voltage drop test must be performed. Early in 1995, Buick changed the service strategy for the Tevis ABS unit. Previously, whenever there was a problem with any part of the pressure modulator valve assembly, the complete unit was replaced. Service Bulletin 53-50-01 describes a new method to separate the valve block and pump motor assembly for service. When you're ready to reassemble the components, remember to install a new gasket. The gasket must be installed correctly. If the gasket is installed upside down, ports to the master cylinder are blocked, while other hydraulic circuits receive full pump pressure during the Tech 1 bleed procedure. Braking performance is affected and the system damaged. You'll have to replace the front and rear calipers, all brake lines and hoses, the pressure modulator valve and pump motor, and the proportioning valves. The third system we'll look into is the Bosch system used on 91 to 96 Roadmasters. Bosch ABS has been in use on the Roadmaster since the nameplate was reintroduced in 1991.
If a no communication message is appearing on the TEC-1, check the integrity of every ABS connector, starting with the EBCM. There have been cases where a loose or a broken EBCM connector retainer caused a no communication message. Be sure the connector is fully seated. If a 93 sedan has an intermittent flickering ABS indicator concern and DTCs aren't set, check the left front wheel speed sensor wiring harness for a rub through condition at the left front inner wheel well. The concern is localized here because as the harness pivots, the retainer rubs through the wiring insulation. Twisted pair wheel speed sensor wiring harnesses should never be repaired, so replace the harness. Nineteen ninety one estate wagons may have an ABS concern that sets DTC twenty five or thirty five and illuminates the ABS indicator. DTC twenty five refers to the left front wheel speed sensor circuit, and DTC thirty five refers to the rear wheel speed sensor circuit. These codes can be caused by EMI being picked up through the right front wheel speed sensor circuit. Check this retaining clip. If the retaining clip is loose, the coax covered wheel speed sensor wiring harness might fall near a spark plug wire. To verify this, connect a Tech 1 and start the engine. Watch the wheel speed readings while the car idles in park. A wheel speed reading other than zero is caused by EMI. Fit the loose harness back into the clip and reconnect the clip. If the clip is damaged, replace it. Clear all codes. If a concern involves repeated attempts to repair a Code 63 on a 91 wagon, look up the car's service record. If the EBCM has been replaced, look at the tan or gray wires to and from the tailgate lock motor. These two wires can be pinched under an EBCM mounting bolt head. When the tailgate lock motor is activated, battery power shorts to the EBCM housing through the EBCM circuit board to ground. The amperage destroys the circuit board and ruins the EBCM. Move the wire from under the bolt head and repair the damage. You may have to replace the module one final time. There have been cases reported where the ABS indicator light illuminates intermittently on 91 Roadmaster wagons. The SIR indicator may also illuminate. When checking codes, there is a code 71, which usually indicates an EBCM fault. Begin by checking the EBCM connection. This one is clean. After completing the physical inspection, look at the wiring schematics in the service manual. The ABS system shares grounds with the SIR system. Ground 103 is near the thermostat housing. Check it for corrosion and then torque it to 27 newton meters or 20 pound feet. Also, check ground 300, which is at the left D pillar, and ground 102, which is behind the left headlight bracket in front of the purge canister. After you tighten it, remember to perform a voltage drop test that verifies the ground. And that wraps up this know how on ABS concerns. We covered the Delco Bosch 5 system on the 96 Park Avenue and LeSabre, the Tevis 4 system on the 95 at 96 Riviera, and the Bosch system on 91 to 96 Roadmasters. Thanks for watching. See you next month on Buick Know How.